Free public schools run by private nonprofit groups. Charter schools are controversial. Teachers Union says they suck resources and talent from traditional schools. But while that debate rages, the head of CPS says there are 120,000 students stuck in failing schools and that they need better options now. Now is the operative word if you're thinking about a charter school for next fall. Deadlines are coming up and parents need to know their choices and their chances. Performing arts is one of the unique offerings at North Kenwood Oakland Charter School, but it's the academic performance that keeps it in high demand. With our lottery um, process, all students in the city of Chicago have access. We do not have a screening process. But school director Tanika Island admits there are seven times more applicants than available seats here at NKO. It has a 14-year track record of success, about what you'd expect when the charter operator is the University of Chicago. We have lots of parents here who opt for public schools rather than private schools when they could afford the private option. Tim Knowles heads the university's Urban Education Institute. U of C has four charter schools now. Getting into any of them is a crowded lottery field. But students who do come out winners. When the university opened its Woodlawn High School campus, 70% of the incoming ninth graders could only manage fifth grade reading. Four years later, 98% of them went to four-year college. How do we do that? Boot camp. It was literally eight to five for the first two years of literacy and mathematics. It was brutal. I mean, it was hard work for teachers, for kids. It was just brutal. The hard work for parents right now is getting into those superstar charter schools, but advocates say almost any charter school is better than a low-performing traditional school. We have proven that a charter school um, has a higher percentage and a higher likelihood of getting students into college and graduating from high school. Let's look at a school like Urban Prep. They would be the first to tell you that they still have a long way to go on the ACT score front, but 100% of their kids are accepted to four-year colleges for the last two years in a row. But just try getting into urban prep now. Really, try. That's the advice of Phyllis Lockett, the head of new schools for Chicago. Parents have to keep applying. We know parents that have applied up to seven to ten schools and have eventually become successful. There is no limit to how many charter schools you can apply to at once. Odds are better for getting into the newer ones, so don't leave them off your list. But read all about them, then go see for yourself. So you have to do your homework. If they don't have a principal, that's a red flag. If you can't meet the teachers, that's another red flag. The only way you can have confidence that a brand new school is going to be good is by getting to know the people who are leading and teaching in that school. And making that legwork easier for you, a big event this Saturday at Soldier Field. The operators of more than 100 charter schools in person talking to you, taking applications on the spot. So bring your students, bring your questions. It is free, even the parking. And yes, it is indoors. We know it's January. For more information, you can go online to newschoolsnow.org. I'm going to be at the Expo. I invite you right now to sit in on my conversation with school's CEO, Jean-Claude Brizard, the man in the hot seat. Hmm. That's going to be at 10 o'clock Saturday morning. And it doesn't matter how you feel about charter schools in theory, your, your kids only get one chance to be in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade, whatever it may be. And deadlines are coming up like next week. Some, a lot of deadlines are February 1st. Some high schools, charter schools have already passed, so get moving. Is a charter school always a better option, would you say? You know, the advocates say that even when the scores aren't, you know, off the charts, they're still better than most of the failing neighborhood schools mm -hmm. around them, and the outcomes are better. They end up going to college, et cetera. A nice school report card like we have for regular public schools or the traditional schools is not available yet. By next year, CPS is promising we'll be able to actually look at a report card on each school, including the charters. That will be a big that help to parents. Help. Yes, it will.